Hi, I'm Kristen Peasley, Partnership Specialist for Waco ISD, here for your Partnership Spotlight with the LEAD program from with the Greater Waco Chamber of Commerce. And Rachel Martinez, the Director of Community Development there, is going to tell us about the LEAD program and what's taking place behind us. Thanks, Kristen. So the LEAD program is a, a partnership between local business professionals and high school students. We work with Rappaport University and Waco High students. And um, basically it's to foster, we foster mentoring relationships and expose these students to uh, career opportunities within our community. And today we've got the privilege of having an Apache helicopter landing right here at Parkview Baptist Church. Um, and we've got students out here checking out uh, the aircraft and talking to the pilots and learning a little bit about military life and, and what it's like to, to fly a helicopter, so that's pretty cool. That's so fun. And can you tell me, um, if you know off the top of your head, how many mentors there currently are in the program and how many students yeah. are in it? A absolutely. We have 83 students in the program right now and 39 mentors. So um, my only my only uh, obstacle in growing the program is not having enough mentors. So if you're interested in mentoring, please call me. And, and where do they call you at? Absolutely. They can call me in the office at 757-5633 uh, or my email is rmartinez at wacochamber.com. Pretty easy. That sounds great. Thank you so much, Rachel. And, and next to me here is um, one of my lead students because I am a lead mentor um, and have been for four years. And I'm excited to introduce you to Monique Alexander from University High School who is a junior there. And this is her first year in lead. So Monique, what, is, what has lead done for you so far? What do you like about lead? I like it because it exposes you to many different career opportunities for the future. And what are you looking to be when you, I say grow up, but here in a couple of years when you go to college, what are your, what are your plans? I want to do a major in education and a minor in social work or child psychology. And do you think that that might change after seeing some of these tours or are you pretty set? It may change. It may change. Yeah. You never know and I'm not <laughs> going to discourage you. But I enjoy being a mentor and I encourage everyone and I'd love to go grab another mentor here and some of his students and see what how they feel about the LEAD program. Here with me now is Nathan Embry, another one of the LEAD mentors who's going to tell us a little bit about why he became a LEAD mentor and what he enjoys about it. So Nathan, tell us why you became a mentor. Well, I became a mentor about three years ago. I'm finishing up my third year now and I became a mentor because I want to give back to the kids, give back to the community. It's a great reputable program offered by the Chamber of Commerce. They help us out, they feed us, and uh, they provide opportunities like this to see this helicopter today. And again, I just wanted to help build a relationship with these kids who uh, could use the relationship here in, in Waco. And if somebody came to you and said, you know, how do I get involved in LEAD or what does it take, what would you say to them? As a mentor or the student? Um, as a mentor, somebody said, you know, wow, why the LEAD program and, and why not another mentor program? Or, you know, does it take a lot of time out of your, out of your day, your month? Well, there are several different mentor options, mentor program options here in the town, which is great. Uh, but this one's for me because I like the older kids. This, this is the high school kids. And I enjoy hanging out with these guys that are in football. They're athletes. I was an athlete in high school. I have a lot in common with these kids. I also have the opportunities with the networking in town that I can show these kids some things that otherwise they wouldn't have the opportunity to do. So I enjoy using those connections, using that network, and showing these kids something that they haven't seen or otherwise wouldn't. Very good. Well, thank you for all your time. And, and I know you meet with your kids at least twice a month, which I know is one of the recommendations. So thank you for taking time out of your busy daily schedule to do that. Yeah, you mentioned that, uh, the time commitment. And it might seem like a lot of time commitment at first. I'm a typical guy. It's hard for me to commit to something for more than a week or two. But I, I started this with the intention of doing it one year, and I'm finishing up my third. So it's really not a giant time commitment. It's, it's twice a month, like you said. And it's, each visit is about an hour. It can go longer, but it's just an hour, which is a lunch period. So I do a lot of my tours during the lunch hour. So, and I'm going to lunch anyway. So I might as well take these kids somewhere and see something like this. It's not that big of a deal on the time commitment. I love talking to prospective mentors about this uh, because I, it does benefit the community. It helps these kids. And actually, as a mentor, you learn a lot yourself. It's, it's nothing but rewarding for everyone involved. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time and for doing this. And we're going to lean over here and talk to Abel, which is another University High student. And tell us what you've learned from the LEAD program so far. Well, Oh man! How many years have you been in it? Oh, well, I've been in for two years, and I've met so many great people, and uh, I've learned many skills to help me talk to people and make connections. Actually, so one thing I've really got from this was how to speak to uh, 
people who run businesses and see where I want to be when I grow up. And what and what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, I sort of want to be a lawyer, but uh, now that I'm in the lead program, I have so many other choices, like going into the military, mm -hmm. flying a helicopter, or even uh, running a pizza shop, or just having fun and uh, getting paid doing what I love. And it's so fun to get out there at, from a student's perspective and see the behind the scenes of the real world that you wouldn't typically see unless you work at that business. Yes, uh, actually many people paint the, the real world for something that's really um, very boring and tough and they say it's gonna kick my butt but actually I see that people are having fun out there and uh, it's giving me hope that I can actually be something fun. If you do if you do what you love and you love your job then yes it is fun you can make it fun. Yeah I see what I can do. Well thank you for being part of the LEAD program and thank you again for joining us for another Partnership Spotlight. If you're if you would like to become an Adopt-A-School partner in education, you can contact me at 755-9510. Learners today, leaders tomorrow.